blow out the candles and take your first steps into teenhood. And no way. Your house earned 3560 from child support payments. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are feeling peachy today. We have an awesome video. But first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Moose Toys for sponsoring today's video. And they've asked me to show you guys the very adorable Fall Guys Spring Plushies 2022. And one of the most fun bits about Fall Guys, other than playing with your friends and collecting crowns, is of course customizing your character with all the amazing skins. And the plushies have some of the most fun skins from the game. So they become in three sizes. Here is pink with a crown in the little mini size here. We've also got pigeon. We've got chicken. Blue freeze, which, you know, kind of relevant because it's getting real warm at the moment. And we've got a yellow with a crown fall guy as well. These are the little mini baby ones. There is also a medium size, which does feature my favorite skin. I always like to play. I know it's OG, but I've never fallen out of love with the unicorn skin with a little unicorn horn and a little ballerina skirt as well. This is fairy corn and it is my absolute favorite skin. There's also a bunch more mediums. We've got hot dog, hot dog and original blue here as well. And then if you like your plushies extra big, there is also these giant plushies. These are the large ones. We've obviously got pink with crown here and we also have the raptor. This guy is the guy that's always griefing me. He's the one that's always grabbing me when I'm on rollout and making me fall off the map. I know you. I know you. I'm going to feed him to Lexi. So as you guys know, I have played an awful lot of Fall Guys with my friends on Twitch. You can check out some of the crazy clips right now. I've been really bad at this one recently, despite the fact that... We got this. We're going to be sensible heads this time. Because last time we should have had it, but we just... I don't know what happened. Get that! Get that penguin! Grab the 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 penguin! Grab it! 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 So these plushies are super cute. I think they're going to be joining me in the background. I love all the skins that are available. If you guys are interested and want to have a go at collecting them all as well, then go ahead and check out my description for more info on the Fall Guys Spring Plushie 2022 range. Check them all out. I will leave a little link in there below. And a big thank you to Moose Toys for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and get into the action. Hello, do you hear that delightful noise? Listen, listen a little bit closer. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. The sound of a crying baby in Sims. Is there anything more beautiful than the sound of crying babies? Isn't it just the most gorgeous, gorgeous noise you ever heard? But there we go. This is how we're starting this episode with a little crying baby. Also the Aria pancakes, I think, whoever they are. I think we got the notification last episode that baby was going to be aging up fairly soon. And also Rain was. So Rain's bar is like glowing. He is so ready to become a teenager. And I'm so ready to see what he looks like in his teenage form. So today is Sunday in The Sims. We're going to be celebrating Rain's birthday. Does anybody have work? Yep, you're working the weekend at the moment because you're at the bottom of the political career but you're not actually you're level two gordon's loving his new job which we told him to go for he is going to become um, a social justice worker if he gets another promotion and he's been promoting his cause as well so doing everything that he needs to do for his work and just honestly already the vibes are better with him the life is better we did forget it was his birthday but in fairness i also forgot it was my daughter's birthday so you can <laughs> i don't know if that makes it better or worse and i forgot to put my lights on Hello! <laughs> so, we're gonna be to continuing with Operation Be a Good Wife, slash, we're not actually a wife yet. In fact, maybe Operation Be a Good Wife, slash, you know, also plan the wedding. Plan the wedding because we've definitely got a bunch of kids that can get involved in the wedding now, which is something we always wanted to do. So that'll be real nice. We're still super happy at new baby. Of course, I do need to set the new baby to be Gordon's son. However, I can't do that until baby ages up into a toddler. But Bowen was born via C-section last episode. And already Gordon is finding each child he's found it a little bit easier. I don't know if we, I gave him 10 children. Eventually he'd be like really on board and really excited. 
excited and wanting child number 11, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I do know I still need to adopt though, so don't worry. I haven't forgotten about that little factoid. And oh my gosh, look at this. She even cooked him breakfast. She cooked him breakfast already for his day at work. Oh my gosh. Okay, he starts work in three hours. That's a bunch of time actually. So I'm going to make sure he spends all of his time like getting ready, going into work, feeling really happy. The kids are up. They're both hungry. I mean, <laughs> it was nice because we made breakfast for him, but we kind of just made breakfast for him. So why don't you make breakfast for the kids maybe? Let's do everyone some grilled cheese because that's a nice Sunday morning brekkie, isn't it? And I've sent Liv out for a run with Dog, although Doggo Tofu is getting quite old now. So I don't know how long I'll be able to keep doing my little jogs with them. But for as long as possible, I will. And we also have a crying baby. But... I feel like since home is happier now, he's also happier to be around the home and like be a little bit more domestic too, you know? And also he can now make, I thought it said spaghetti strawberry cake. I'm like, well, that's horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I'm going to keep sending him into work because I don't know. I just feel like you can only get promotions if you go in, right? So I'm going to do that. I know you can do good work from home, but... He's just started a new job. I feel like he'll want to be at work. Kids, come get your grilled cheese. And I think Liv is on track for another promotion as well, which would put me at level eight. Now, she did want to quit her job and become like a stay-at-home mom. That was always her dream. But since we're helping Gordon build his career up from the ground upwards again, it's probably not going to happen. At least until we reach level 10. At least till you know, Gordon is a little bit more established, especially since we want to move home as well. And one of the ways we tried to earn some money last episode was selling foodies outside because we're all really freaking good cook. So I may continue trying to do a bit of that. And I also just have to try, try and make sure Rain doesn't age up before I make him a cake. Like, please don't age up until then. Are you heading into work? You are. So we're going to, oh no, okay. I, th I thought we were leaving a baby at home alone, but it's fine. Mom's back. We also gave mom a slightly updated appearance last episode as well. So hopefully you guys like that. I went ahead and recorded recording just because of how my schedule's gone this week. So I'm really hoping you like her appearance, but it's not her final form yet, guys. Don't worry. I also would really like wherever we move to have a park for the kids. I know not all neighborhoods have them, but I find it's the easiest way to like make your kid have friends is if there's a park you can access without loading screens. I just really like that. All we have here is this fishing spot and it's kind of lame. So a, a kid's park nearby would be a massive help. Ooh, and I just got the update about it being Bowen's birthday today. So two birthdays, one episode. I think two birthdays on the same day. You're going to be sharing your birthday with Rowan again, Rain. And I also feel like Liv's one of those moms that like, she feels a bit sad seeing her kids like get grown up. Like right now that look, oh look, she even looks a bit sad. Like look, she got a bit of a, oh no. I feel like she likes having them around her being all small and like her little like googie eggs also easier to like, you know, they're easier to handle, I guess. Not to handle, but easier to like, I don't want to say control, but there is a bit of that energy, isn't there? A little bit easier to control when they're children and they kind of like just be all cute and do what you ask them to do. Whereas when they get a bit older, that's when they start like acting out and like teenagers are tough. So I feel like she's kind of worried about that stage. So because dad won't finish work, until late tonight and also because dad and rain don't always see eye to eye do they i think also you're feeling tense panicky work withdrawals i actually find that a really annoying part of the workaholic trait because like she's here at the weekend which is super annoying i think we'll do the birthday now i'm also like looking and i've not been disciplining my kids very much she's very much a you know let let the kids do whatever they want kind of mom but i am supposed to be like disciplining disciplining them however they're kind of good kids for the most part well actually rain is a bit of a wreck but yeah, I haven't had that many disciplining opportunities. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. I might have to get Rain to like <laughs> act up a little bit just so I can do some disciplining. But I think she'd be all lovely, like really calmly. I'm like, oh, you're such a little artist. However, do you mind not doing that in the kitchen? You little sweet baby angel, you know? But look, she gives a little telling off. But then she's like, oh, you're my little manina. Aren't you so cute? Maybe we'll be able to do more, more disciplining when he becomes a teenager, you know? I'm just recommending people get together all over the place. Okay, right, pajama kids. Come sit around here and we will do Rain's birthday. Okay, Rain, go ahead blow out the candles and take your first steps into teenhood i really oh oh geez that was fast i wanted to see him do the little spin and everything but the game was like no also i totally forgot about preteens oh <gasps> I love this mod so much. If you've watched my Notes of Bro, you've seen me use this on like a bunch of the more recent gens. But it adds a stage in between being a child and a teenager. So your kid doesn't go from little squish to full manning 
in one step, which is a bit ridiculous. So Brain is now a preteen, which means, uh, where's he gone? I don't know. He'll be like a little bit more like petite in his frame. He'll be shorter. He just looks younger. And we'll also make sure we CC him up to like match that as well. So teenage now, romantic travails, sweaty gym shorts and hormonal upheavals. Best buckle up those boots. The ride starts here. So he has the adventurous trait. I'm not locked into traits now because there's no gen after this. So I like to just roll and see what works. I can't imagine and flirty really fitting him. Slob kind of would because his dad also has a slob trait so that could work. Or materialistic. Mm, he's always been given a lot as a kid. I don't feel like no, I feel like let's give him his dad's trait so he matches his dad. So you guys are more alike than you think. So he has the slob trait. And as for his actual aspiration, I kind of want to go destroy the love lives of all Sims, including their own. Oh my gosh, villainous Valentine. I feel like this is a CC one because the art's a little bit different. I can't remember installing this, but I've never used this on a Sim before. It kind of makes sense because he's kind of, he knows about his mom's affair. He's got the... He's been exposed to that as a child. So maybe he just doesn't believe in love now. Uh, dastardly Sims perform stronger and more successful mean interactions. Shall I give this a go? We can always change it if we don't like it, but I'm going to give it a go. Villainous Valentine. So let me know what you guys think about that. It means he's going to be a little heartbreaker. Do you have the preteen trait? Oh, look at that blonde hair. Oh, no, you've just got... You've No, you've got, no, you've not got blonde hair. I can see your dark eyebrows. Do you have the preteen trait? Because you look... No, you're not tall. You're not tall. Okay, amazing. You do have it. Right. Let's go ahead then and um, bring you into cast and uh, let's check you out. So here is him before I CC him up on those eyelashes. Before I CC him up whatsoever, I think, is that Gordon's nose I'm seeing there? Oh, where is this nose from? Okay, he doesn't quite have Gordon's side profile, but he also does not have Liv's side profile. Interesting. Maybe it's from Gordon's like parents genes. I'm not sure. It's also going to be really hard to see him up when he's so low down, but I'll give it a go. As a reminder, here is his child appearance. So I'm going to be applying like similar CC so at least we can see, you know, that he looks similar to how he used to. Because those are some interesting eyebrows. Let's go ahead and pop your child eyebrows back on. Okay, I'm sort of feeling like these ones are the most similar. I also think I have to take off this get rid of those there we go i think the eyes i gave him were cc eyes and i think he uses these eyes right here the g16s by go Pulse me so let's go ahead and pop his eyes back on i seem to remember him having quite dark eyes there we go i feel as though he had this overlay too yeah i think that's right because this is lives so I'm going to give him this one. So it's a bit different. Wait, what does Gordon use actually? Ah, uh, Gordon uses this one. I think that means it's a um, Prawline one. Okay, let's try the same one on. Okay, it's Arnold by Prawline. Let's see this one. Okay, this or that. I think this one's making him look a bit younger and he's meant to be a preteen. So let's stick with this one for now. And as a child, he had really beautiful lashes. So I'll go for like a little bit heavier lashes than I usually put on my male sims. And then... It's, it has given him blonde hair. All of my sims who have black hair seem to age up with blonde hair. I don't know why. So I'm going to switch back to black. He had kind of like a... That hair is like the most sleek version of this hair. But I want to find... I want to try some new hairs on him, you know? I think Gordon had that hair when we first met him. That's like soft, cute hair. He's meant to like become a little heartbreaker though, isn't he? Like that to me, it looks just like this hair, but grown out. Even the parting is like really similar. I think while he's like a preteen, I don't want to make him look massively different to how we used to look. So let's go ahead and keep him like so somewhat similar. I won't add facial hair or anything yet. Like he's way too young. I did want to give him like, you know, like teenage skin, but I can't find the teenage skin on my skin details. Like there's some that comes with a game, right? And I literally can't find it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being dumb. I have this like acne category here, but it's got nothing in it. So I won't be able to do that. And then dress wise, he was kind of in like band tees, like the little tied shirt around the waist sort of thing. So again, we're not going to make him massively different. I want it to at least look like he's the same kid. So we'll give him like the same kind of look, but I do want his style to evolve as he like gets older. But for now, he's just a kid. I want to give him like, I want to give him a piercing, like I want to make him because of this trait. I do want to make him like a proper little 
heartbreaker, like little jerk kind of kid. But we're not there yet. He's only just, he's still figuring himself out. So we'll give him some time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put his eyes on out all outfits and also give him all of his outfits. Okay, so here are like all of the other outfits I gave him. I didn't spend a bunch of time on them because I find that some of them I end up never even seeing. So you kind of get an idea that this one feels a bit broke now. I think something like that makes more sense. But you kind of get an idea of like his vibe now, at least. And let me know how you guys want it to develop over time. And over time, I will also start to like switch out his room. Oh, I need to move. I have no space. Okay. Right, kids, we're baking again today. Actually, I don't think I can force a teenage rain to bake, but... Liv, do you want to help me out with some bacon, babes? Because we got to try and make some money. And we're making baked Alaska. Oh my gosh. I think they're sold for like 3,000 simoleons and it costs 100 simoleons to make. That is the thing to make. That's the god tier one. <gasps> and oh my gosh, she just aged up. <gasps> Liv on oh, another forgotten birthday. I'm going from young adult to adult though. Oh my gosh, stop going to work. She keeps stopping from going to work. I legit might have to send her to get rid of this workaholic trait because you shouldn't be a workaholic anymore now. You're like, you're not as invested in your job. It's just so annoying when they keep going into work. It drives me crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna send her to lifestyle coaching because if you basically send your sim to work and they sometimes work hard, you get this trait. Everyone gets this trait and it drives me crazy. Rain, you're a teenager now, so you can look after the child while I'm gone. And for Gordon, the candidate is due to appear on stage any minute, but they're having a panic attack about their entire campaign. Gordon must act quickly and keep the speech in motion. Boost the ego or guilt trip? No, boost the ego, don't guilt trip, jeez. Oh, he definitely lists the key points of the candidate's platform and reminds them the good work they can do. Oh, no, must do. And the candidate did a really good job. We raised some support for the cause. Supporters gained one. Oh, well done. Good job. Did you not get a performance boost, though? Performance boost is kind of what I need, you know? And okay, let's check out what Rain has to do for... Oh my gosh, villainous Valentine. Get caught cheating 10 times. Achieve X status with other Sims. Five of those. And break up 10 couples. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've created a monster. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. That is a lot to do. Jeez, he's... Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever played a sim quite this feisty before. This should be fun. This is going to be like um, Connor all over again. Oh, well done, Gordon. Did you do, good, do a good day work? You didn't get another promotion, but I think we'll get one next time we go in. Uh, let's get rid of the workaholic trait. I hate it. I don't think I'll get promotions as quickly, but it's just... I can't stand her going in all the time. Oh, and I've discovered the new ultimate hack. Get Gordon to man the table because his charisma skills high. He is making sales left, right, and center, and I really want to move house, so... Oh, this is our new ultimate earn money fast plan. And okay, we're still grafting away, but I feel like at this point, I've kind of opened up a chicken shop because Liv's been cooking chickens all day and they've been going down a freaking storm, literally. And in between like doing sales pitches, he protests his cause as well. So like, I don't know, I feel like... He's getting his little job thing and was selling chicken for a thousand simoleons a pot. And I feel like I'm old enough now. I should be able to go wherever I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Who are you asking? You're asking your mom because you're not out here. She's going to be like, you'll always be my baby. Whereas I feel like Gordon would have been like either this one or this one. But you know what? She's like, she's like, no, my little chicken, my little chicken. Okay, this is good. He protests. He gets everyone to come around in a big crowd and everyone's like, yeah go protest and then once he's got everyone around he's like now that i have your attention can i offer you some roast chicken in this trying time we even got people out here doing some jamming that'll get people over okay i feel like tomorrow liv goes into work if she more chicken if she gets her promotion then i think we'll have enough money to move i'm holding off on aging up bowen until then because i don't have any space Although I did install an amazing new piece of CC. If you guys haven't checked out my new interactive toddler items video, go and check that out because I leave a link to and I review a bunch of amazing toddler new items. One of them is a crib for toddlers, so I could actually still fit the baby in my room when it becomes a toddler, which is amazing. And <gasps> no way, Catalina has showed up. Catalina has bought my chicken. Okay, is she now married? Like, what's what's the Catalina situation? Okay, yeah, she got married to that Leono, and they have two children together. <gasps> They're living in San Myshuno now. She left that big, beautiful house. No freaking way. Interesting. We're 18 club up a house. Isn't that where Clem used to live? And she's about to become an elder. Okay, well, it was so nice of you to pop around, but um, actually, I'm going to bed now because it's midnight, Catalina. 
So sorry, so sorry, Catalina. Oh, and look at her sleeping on the sofa, making sure, because she wants to go to bed at the same time as him. It's like, well, if he's not going to bed, I'm not going to bed, you know? Bless. A whole new leaf. And we're on 14,000 simoleons. We need 16,000 to move into that house. Oh, and as soon as you get into bed, the baby starts crying, obviously. Ideally, a little bit more, just so that we can uh, do an extension so we can do the kids' bedroom upstairs. <gasps> and no way. Your house earned 3,560 from child support payments. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've got enough to move into my nice new house. It's because my secret affair lover sent money for the baby that I'm raising with my husband, future husband, without telling him. This feels unethical. This feels really unethical. Once I age him up into a toddler, I will definitely fix that in the family tree because we should not be getting child support moments. Like... That should just not be a thing that's happening, you know? That's all because it wouldn't give me the option to convince him that he was actually the father. I don't think I would have got child support payments or maybe the game would always have known. I don't know, but I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth or a gift ex-lover in the mouth. I'll be taking that 3,000 simoleons. Thank you very much. Rain has his first day of middle school today. So they're back at school now. And also Liv has, not Liv, I keep calling the little one Liv. Iris has her first day. Wait, on vacation? No, you're meant to be back at school. I thought we canceled your vacation, babes. No, 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 no. Okay, you're gonna get a cheeky day of school, but you are meant to be back into school. Wait, I can't, I can't ring up and wow. How are you just getting all this time off? I don't know. She's still on vacation. Maybe the middle schoolers go back sooner. So with Rain being at school, I'm gonna get him to try and make some friends because I need to find some hearts to break. And I've, Irvin sent Bowen a gift. Oh my gosh, Irvin just aged up on his own while I'm having a nap. Okay, Bowen was like, I'm here. I ain't waiting any longer. You are dealing with me in all of my glory. Okay, so what kind of child do I make you? We've already had a charmer, I think. And we've had, what was Rain? I can't even remember what Rain was. I'm gonna make Bowen maybe an independent child. I don't think we've had an independent baby for a while. And he has been born with dark hair, but I'm gonna give him... Oh, and he's immediately sad from a loss in the family. He's doing his little glitchy walk. I'm immediately gonna give him like CC to make him look a little bit less like Gordon's child, you know? So here he is. I'm gonna give him... He's been born with brown eyes, but all of this gen has like a blue eyes, but with him is there like a bluey brown is that even an eye color that i have oh my gosh i have like blue with hazel in the middle we could go for that that one too but it's not very i, I find that's not a very clear eye that's kind of bluey brown kind of looks like the world is in his eyes and that's a bluey brown too i kind of like that one that one or that one that one's lighter what about that one and then i'll put some like little flex in his eye just to like brighten it up a little bit like so just so he's a bit brighter and ideally Liv wants this child to get her features as many of her features as possible at least blonde hair and you guys were saying this she can quite easily explain away because a lot of like um the not so berry gens have had blonde hair so you know it's not the end of the world alicia also blonde hair but the blonde hair i feel like we just got her it's just a must so I'm gonna give him like little, little baby blonde hair like so. He does have, let me just take the hair off for a hot sec. I think he's got Liv's ear shape. You know, this slightly alien ear. Although we've got aliens on both sides at this point. So that really isn't that surprising. He's also my first toddler in I don't know how long. To age up, not here. They all are in this exact same spot. But he hasn't, which is interesting. We're still in summer. So I'm gonna dress him in like some little shorts. Something like that is cute. And how will how will little Bowen grow up? Oh, look at his little teethies that he aged up with. Ah, oh, I love those teeth. Those like little tiny, just the middle ones. I think that's so cute. And definitely very different looking. Let me bring up a picture. Okay, so this was Rain as a kid. And this is Bowen. Very, I think they look really different. Like super different. Different eye shape, different brow shape, different nose. Lips maybe are similar, ears different, hair different, skin tone different as well. I think this is a little bit more of his skin tone. So there's Bowen, guys. Let me know what you think. And I've just had bills for 2,000 millions. We're going to ignore those because I need my money to move. <gasps> I didn't even go into work. How did I get from home? <laughs> How did that just happen? I worked from home last time, but shouldn't I be in work now? Why are you not? Why can't I send it to work? Look. Working 22 hours. I'm so confused. 
I don't know. Oh, it's because I got promoted. I'm so confused, but I'm going to accept it. Expert Epicurean. She will now make an additional $66 per hour. We now have 19,000 simoleons. And I got a big bonus. And I can improve dishes. Okay, that's going to make themselves even more money. Which means I'm now on level 8 of the food critic career. So next promotion is Kitchen's Worst Nightmare. It's kind of nice because it means she gets to spend the day with um, little Bowen instead. And Rain is meeting a bunch of people at school whose hearts he can break. So that's real nice. We've already met Magdalena. And Jeff. And Liv is having another baby. Okay, great. And did you get promoted, Gordon? <gasps> we did. Wow. Did you, like, not get... Okay, your bonus was $200. Rude. But at least we've been promoted. Well done. Well done. Politician level three, which means I think we can have a little look at the housing market. You have had a bit of a stressful day, bless you, and your fun is low. You've gone straight upstairs to interact with baby. And I am for now gonna do the... Where's Ada's care dependent? I'm not getting that option. Usually it's here. I don't know whether there's a way for me to still add that hidden trait that makes him think he's the father. Otherwise, I will just go in MCC and like recreate the relationship so that he is the father. But I would like to do it the like fun way first, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and see what is available on the housing market. So the place that I was kind of thinking in my head was here. We can't afford anywhere big. Like we're just, this is just so far out of our budget. So I was looking at this place. I will kick this person out. <laughs> This place here, if I just evict them, and if we sell our furniture, we will have some funds left over. This is the house that I built in a previous challenge, but it is like, it's a nicer neighborhood. There isn't a park nearby here, which is a little bit frustrating. I'm not sure where the park, if there is like a little kid's park anywhere that you can visit on, because you can't see them from the map view, which is kind of annoying, but it's more spacious. It's more live style. And there is the option to build and extend upstairs for another like two bedrooms. So I think it makes the most sense. We'll also get a little bit of cash, but I'm just going to cautiously save the game before I do it. And it is sad that we got it. I've saved now. It's sad we got to sell the furniture because some of it will be Minzy's, but I think it's nice that the first gen is still paving the way to like good things for her great, 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 you know? And here we are in our new home that's placed in an interesting we might change this front bit here but do you guys like remember me making this little house it actually has a downstairs so we could do like a a little basement if rain wants like a basement room because sometimes teenage boys kind of like that right we could do him a basement but it has a much bigger room for us this room here could work really nice for iris and i can put like a stairs here to go upstairs and build that way as well. And this bit's just way more. Like, I, it's just a calmer, more open plan living room with a really nice big kitchen for us as well. So, new house, new start. There is no... No, there's a little allotment nearby. So maybe we can meet kids and stuff here. I could make this like... Uh, no, I can't make it a kid's hangout. But maybe I could make the house a kid's hangout so the kids can try and find some friends. There's also like the cute little river. So hopefully it's going to be a nice little fresh start for the family because we're trying to start things again, aren't we? Well, Liv is trying to start things again. I think this could be a good first step. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we'll play some of this house next episode thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye